a grand solar minimum, or a normal sun? You decide. During solar minimum, there is very little sunspot activity. During solar maximum, there is very high sunspot activity. And our current sun, during solar max, looks like this. Pretty meager sunspot activity. And the x-ray flux is, well, meager, weak, and even negative. Look at that drop down. And we only have two years to the peak. Solar cycle 25, according to many plasma physicists just earlier this year, they claimed that it was exceeding predictions. Not only that, some scientists claim that the sun is more active than predicted and that cycle 25, the one we're in, could be the strongest cycle since solar cycle records began, which is completely, well, stupid. Now, solar cycle began in December of 2019. And according to these scientists, the sun quickly ramped up and may be the strongest cycle ever in recorded history. Now, Keith Strong, a well-known solar physicist, tweeted this back in May. Expect more big flares in the coming days. Anyone still think we are in a grand solar minimum? This is a plasma physicist, and he has a typo. That's supposed to be a K. And yeah, I still think we're in a grand minimum, and you're still an idiot, Keith. Notice how I don't follow idiots. Now, one thing I want to point out is that this guy, Dark Strong, has been attacking me for eight years when you should actually be attacking him because he is the biggest idiot and puppet for the mainstream out there. He doesn't know about science. He doesn't know how to do his own science. He does know how to put up a line graph that doesn't show anything, though. <laughs> it shows the arrival time is earlier. It doesn't show one is bigger than the other, Keith. So get a clue. Now, if you have been following some of the more, well, accurate plasma physicists like Zarkova, Valentina Zarkova, she predicted years ago that the double dynamo effect on solar activity and the modern grand solar minimum will coalesce now. And what Zarkova predicted over 15 years ago is coming true. Tooth and nail, everything she said. Now using... Symbolic regression analysis, they presented mathematical formula for the dipole magnetic waves and calculated the summary curve, which was shown linked to solar activity. They extrapolated the last 3,000 years of information, and it revealed a 350 to 400 year grand cycle superimposed on the 22 year hail cycles whose occurrence has a remarkable resemblance to sunspot activity, which was reported in the past, including the Maunder Minimum, the Wolf Minimum, the Oort, the Homeric, and other grand solar minimum and warming periods. Now, according to their studies, the summary curve calculated for the next millennial millennium predicts further three grand cycles with the closest grand minimum that started in 2020 and is expected to last to 2053. Started in 2020 and is expected to last until 2053. There you see it. The modern eddy minimum. Now here it's predicted to be weaker than the Dalton minimum, but it's already stronger than the Dalton minimum. And we're going to get to all that data in a minute. Here were the solar cycle predictions coming into cycle 25. You can see purple here was NOAA and NASA, but they've now changed their tune. And in fact, saying it's much stronger. The strongest cycle ever in recorded history. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. In fact, 
Let's take a look here. Solar cycle 25 is much weaker than 24 at the same time. I think this is off a few months. I think they got the phase out here. And if we just move this graph over a few months, you can see, well, just one month. It is much weaker than it was there. But here was cycle 24, the last solar cycle, not the one we're in. In order to find a weaker cycle, you have to go past the centennial minimum. All those cycles were bigger. Here's the centennial minimum. All the way into the Dalton minimum. And go all the way back to cycle number six. The sixth cycle in recorded history. Cycle 25 is only weaker to cycle number six. Which goes back 100... Holy macaroni. Which goes back 200 years. Cycle 24 is the weakest cycle in 200 years. And 25 is lining up to be the weakest cycle since the Maunder minimum, potentially. Cycle number five here got just over 100 sunspots. So we are in the beginning of a grand minimum. 24, 25, and 26 will be that grand minimum at the minimum. And here we can see the solar polar field strength, which will be reversing in just a few years. Winter of 2024, spring of 25. And we should have some huge seismic events during that solar polar reversal. Now, what should we expect? Well, during all the grand minimums, we have ice age advances, glacial advances. Here are the Little Ice Age glacial advances, the Dalton Minimum glacial advance, the, centen uh, yeah, the Centennial Minimum, 1880 to 1950 glacial advance, and the 1945 to 1977 global cooling glacial advance. And now, well, we're in the next modern minimum. So we should be seeing temperatures drastically drop to around one degree C in the Northeast up through central Canada, as well as Northern Europe and all of Northern Siberia and to the Arctic. There will be cooling. There will be warming in the North Atlantic, which may allow Beaufort's gyre to release and ever deepen the mini ice age in Europe. These are the things we have to look forward to. Not only that, we know that Empires end during grand minimas. The Greek, Dark Ages. Rome burns. Hadrian's Wall. The Dark Ages. We know that dynasties collapse in China during minimums. In the Dalton Minimum, we had the Northern Chinese Famine and the Qing Dynasty collapse. The Ming Dynasty collapse during the bottom of the Maunder Minimum, 1640. The Yuan Dynasty collapsed during the Wolf Minimum, 1340. The Jin Dynasty collapse. And on and on, all caused by temperature drops driven by the sun. And then we have the ice fairs. Oh, the ice fairs. How glorious it will be to be skating around on all the ice while we starve to death. Now, there is a swelling volume of scientific papers now forecasting global cooling in the coming decades. And the data is supporting that. No, it doesn't matter what the plasma physicists say or the charlatans on other YouTube channels. Last solar cycle, 99% of everyone got the prediction wrong. We did not, and neither did Zarkova. She predicted solar cycle 24 would be the beginning of the grand solar minimum, as well as I. And I think we were both right, and that the mainstream scientists have no idea what they're talking about. Just Four months ago, they said that cycle 25 was going to be the strongest cycle in recorded history. And the data shows something much, much different. 
Well, it shows that they're wrong. And just by looking at this graph, we can see that cycle 23 was almost 50% stronger than 25. Cycle 22 was hundreds of times stronger than this cycle. And they think that this cycle is going to be the strongest cycle in recorded history. Well, they've got a long way to go. Not only in their knowledge of the sun and plasma physics, physics, but in predicting solar cycles. You see, they don't take into account the historical documentation, the past patterns like Zarkova did. She even used machine learning and top computers to predict the patterns and the periodicities. They base their models on funding. And even if they're wrong, they still get more money. Isn't that funny? You are living the next grand minima, the modern eddy minimum. And things are about to get bad. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Support yourself and your family with long-term food storage. Prepare with the ranch.com and you can get yourself 25-year shelf-like food products to save your buttocks. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. There are tons of links below the video. Our preparedness store. Long-term food storage. You can start prepping now. Every single thing you do, one day at a time, one step at a time, is a hedge on your food security and peace of mind. Be safe. We love you. Ding.